Congratulations on 20 years. 20 years. Would you believe that is a second career? How long were you a uh, How long were you a judge before that? 15 years. 15 years. So 35 years on the bench. Uh, tell them it like it is. You know, uh, you you know, you don't have much of a filter right here. You actually say well, what's exactly on, what you on your mind. My grandmother used to say, "What's on your tongue is on your lung, or what's on your lung is on your tongue." And that means that if you write it down. <laughs> if, if you tell the truth, you don't have to have a good memory. Oh, and, if you're, okay. and if you're reasonably consistent with your mm -hmm. philosophy, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it, it works for me. Well, you've got a very accessible philosophy. You've got a lot of these uh, sayings that people love called uh, uh, Judaisms. That's true. Exactly, which actually, they're so popular, they might be more popular than actual Judaism. They're, they're than Judy, right. Yeah, exactly. One of them, one of my favorites here is, of course, everybody loves, don't pee on my leg and tell me it's raining. Okay. <laughs> right. I might go you one better and say, just don't pee on my leg. Period. For any right, reason. For any I don't reason. even care. If I'm stung by a jellyfish, okay, maybe, okay. but that's the only reason. That's the only reason. I know that that works, by the way. Do you, um, you don't know it works? I know it works. You know it works. <laughs> yes, I do. Well, go ahead, tell the story. What happened? Oh, you really want that story? Yeah, I do. Well, we were traveling with all of our children, and we were swimming or snorkeling, and one of the kids got stung by a jellyfish. Yes. And he's a physician. Yes. And his wife is a physician. Yes. And that was the closest solution that they had okay. to remove the venom. So who was the doctor in this case? Uh, she was the doctor. He okay. was the patient. Oh, really? Yes. And how mad are they going to be at you? You just told that story. I don't know. Probably very angry. But you don't have a problem with that because you just tell it like it is. It, I thought of it as you said it. Yes. And I thought of it and I shared it with you. Now, a lot of people are saying that one of Trump's appeals is because he just says it like it is, okay? Do you feel like he's, he's taking your, taking your style? No. Do I feel his, uh, yeah. and, and then some. Uh, yes. Yeah. And you may accuse Donald of a whole bunch of things. Yes. But do you know what he's thinking because he repeats himself mm -hmm. and says it over and over again and people believe what he's saying to them. Right. He's saying, this is what I think, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make America great again. Well, we all want to hear that. Mm -hmm. Can you deliver on that promise? I don't know. Mm -hmm. But I think. What if he had the rice, vice president? Maybe he could. I mean, have you thought about if, if he came to you and said, oh, Judge that Judy, would be, that would Judge be Judy, that would come be on, yeah. Actually terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Why would it be terrible? You got that would actually for people who like don't want Trump to win, that would be terrible because I think you'd be a nice anchor to the ticket. You'd balance it out. You have yeah. the you know, you know have the women's think, vote. I actually think that. If, if Donald, and it appears that he's going to be the candidate of the yeah, Republican sure, sure really Party, yeah. then it would be nice if he had somebody who really had some good experience with government to, to act as a running mate. That would seem to me only logical, and quite frankly, I don't. I know the family court, and I know my little television courtroom, and I'm too old, and I don't like to work so hard. So with all of those things, <laughs> and it doesn't That's pay nice. enough. That's not, yeah, no. No, what a pay cut. You have to take such a pay cut to be vice president. Yeah. That's it. And so boring. What do you do as vice president? And, and you don't get to make any decisions. I no, mean, you just go to the funerals. I love being a monarch. I love, I love a monarchy. Queen Judy? Queen Judy? I, could, do, I could live you with could that. that. I could live with Queen that. Queen Judy the first? Yes. Would you be... Would you be, would you be a, a benevolent monarch? I would be a benevolent despot, yes.